Bella Binney. Hey everyone, happy new year. Um, I sound funny in my head. I don't know if it sounds funny to you. I've been sick for the past week. So while I've been isolating, I've been setting up my new planner for the year. And I'm going to show you how I set this baby up. It's so, I, it just, it makes me so happy. It's all DIY. So if you want to see my 2022 fun Hobie core set up for my planner, then just keep watching. So the first thing I did to create my Hobie core planner is to draw different artwork for the dividers. I drew them on letter sized canvas. So it was eight and a half by 11 inches but I'm using a classic sized happy planner for this year. So the pages are seven by nine and one quarter, 9.25, I think. So when I printed some of the artwork, I had to scale it down to anywhere from 82 to 86% before printing. For the full pattern art pieces, I just printed it at regular size because I didn't mind cutting some of the pattern off when I was trimming it down. I printed all of my artwork out on big cardstock so that it lasts throughout the year. Uh, once I had them all printed out, I cut them down to size. So while I'm cutting, I wanna take a moment to explain what Hobie Core is to those who aren't familiar. Hobie is one of the members of BTS and Hobie Core is the overall aesthetic that has been attributed to him. Each of the members have their own aesthetic named after them and they're all different and they're all amazing. <laughs> Hobie Core is fun and colorful and it just makes you very happy when you see it. It's based off of J-Hope's fashion and personality so there's a lot of bright colors, happy faces, flowers, rainbows, and so forth. So all of the art that I did for my dividers are Hobiecore and J-Hope inspired. I included Mang in them as well because it's the character that Hosa created. Everything is super bright and colorful and it's just gonna make me so happy to look at my planner every day this year. I stopped using a paper planner in the beginning of 2020, so it has been two years since I felt inspired again to get back into paper planning. I tried it a little last year, but I think I used it like maybe one or two weeks out of the whole year. I used Notion all of 2021 and a little bit in 2020, and I'll still use Notion this year too, um, but I'm very happy to be setting up a planner again, and I'm excited to start using my planner supplies. I decided I'm going to shop my stash and use up all of my old unused planner pages and other supplies. I didn't buy anything new for this entire planner setup, except for some happy face discs, which you'll see in a little bit. Okay, so... I punched all of my dividers and cover, uh, and then I just gathered some things that I want to put in my planner. And so now it's time to start taking apart my old planners and setting up my new one. Oh, this is the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> I just got this recently for this planner because look how this is just the perfect disc. It's so Hobie Core. It's like, it's perfect. It's completely Hobie Core. I mean, look. <sighs> it's meant to be. I'm so excited. So that's my new set of discs, but I'm also going to mix and match with my other discs that I have in my collection. I might do two of these and two of the pink rainbows because they're my absolute favorite. Actually, let's start picking them out now. So I need, I forgot, how many are in a classic? Nine, so I need nine discs. So definitely want a happy face, rainbow. Um, obviously purple for BTS, three. And then I have this one that is a star, four. I mean, all of them go. All of these would work, so it's just, I don't I'm being pick choosy for no reason. I really could just like close my eyes and pick nine and all of them would work. I spent way too much time deciding what discs I want and then also what order I want them in. So I sped up a good portion of this, but I still wanted to keep it in here just so you can see how long it took 
for me to set up this planner. It wasn't tedious at all. Like I was having a lot of fun going through all the combinations of my discs. So I think I spent a little bit too much time because it was just so much fun. Okay, so I lined my discs up with the first page and now I'm going to put the cover. This is my planner from this year. I did the same kind of thing, like a mix of discs that just makes me so happy. Um, but I'm gonna take this part off from this year's planner and use this as my cover for next year. This is my favorite cover. I cannot find a replacement. So if y'all know any shops that sell something that's this thick and is transparent, please let me know. Because the Happy Planner punch would never in a million years be able to punch this thick of a material. So I can't make it myself. Um, I found this on a Happy Planner kids planner from years ago. It had this as the cover and these star discs, purple discs. Um, like it was at least at least three years ago. And then they never made it again. If anyone from the Happy Planner team ever finds this video, um, my humble request is for you all to sell these. These thick, transparent covers again. I don't know why. I should have just started with this. Like, I don't know why I put the discs. Oh, I know. So I put the discs on just the artwork first just to see if I like the color combination. And now that I know that I do, I'm going to go forward and start assembling this. I'm going to just put all the dividers in. I'll probably speed this part up. And then I'll come back and talk to you. So this one was my initial test page to see what percentage I need to print at and then I just didn't want to redo it like it doesn't bother me that it's cut off I actually think it's cute um, it being imperfect like that and I am gonna scrapbook on some of these dividers so for this one I'm I already know like I'm gonna have a big picture of J-Hope here and so it'll just balance off the the white on the one side. Same thing like this. This was all like me figuring out what percentage I need to print at. But now I know. And so now you know too. Anywhere from 82 to 86% is the sweet spot. This was 86%. I have the front cover and just the front cover art and then my dividers all put together with my disc choice. I have two of these that I had from before. I just need two. I might, I don't know if I'll use three, but basically I want one for uh, the daily to mark exactly what day I'm on so I can just easily flip and then the weekly. If I need to quickly flip through something else, I'll use bookmarks. I have this. This is when I first started going towards a Hobie Core planner. Um, I used one of these scrapbook pockets that are made by the Happy Planner. I created a shaker pocket out of this one. If you ever want a tutorial for this, let me know. I'd love to do that. Just write it in the comments below that you want a tutorial on the shaker pocket thing. I've done a shaker pocket tutorial before. There's a video of making a uh, do-it-yourself Hobonichi Weeks cover that has shaker bits in it. So I'll link that in the description. I kept this one open so I can switch out and put photos in there. And then I put this. These are the two things that like was really resonating with me back then. But this one doesn't anymore. I mean... It's still nice, but I really want this because that still resonates with me, but I want to cover this up, um, but it's inside. So the only thing I can do is just stick something on the outside. So I was thinking of doing this sticker. This is my latest, one of my latest stickers that I drew. It's something that Jimin said. Jimin tells himself, you nice, keep going. So I had Fuzz say that. 
So I'm just going to stick it right on top of write your own story because I just don't need that quote anymore. Okay, so I like that way better. Uh, I'm still going to keep Mallow for now, but eventually I know I will switch this out to probably Yoongi because I am so biased. Ugh, there's so many new pictures of him that I want in this planner because now he has Instagram, right? And he has been blessing us with beautiful pictures all the time. Oh, that's so cute. I'm going to go through my old planners now to see if there's anything that was extra, like extra little bits that I might want in my new planner. Oh, I had a tab that said extras. I might actually keep this. Yeah, I'm going to use this divider again, even though it's not Hobie core per se, because like Hobie core is all colorful, not really black and white. I just like that it says extras. I'm gonna flip it so it's this way and it says extras. So that's all from this. Now I'm gonna put my tabs on the side. This was like just meant to be. So I bought this at a K-pop store a while ago, like last year, like uh, I don't even remember. Beginning of 2020 maybe. It was just, it's so cheap, it was like what, $3? And they're little tabs. But I'm so lucky that I actually have seven sections for my planner. So I'm just gonna stick these down now on the dividers. I guess the only thing I want is I want the Mang divider on this one that has Mang on it. I think that would be really cute. I feel like he should be in the top, which means my first section, whatever that's gonna be, is going to be this divider. So I lined, I'm just lining them up right to the edge. I'm sorry if that was off screen. This brings me so much joy. I wish I could buy more of these, but it was at a pop-up K-pop store and I don't know where to buy more of them. Okay, so I just changed my mind. I don't want the Mang tab on the Mang divider because I'm so biased and so I, I just thought like wouldn't it be so cute to have Shooky just on the side. Like I'm gonna carefully peel this off now. Oh gosh, I hope it works. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. So we're gonna put him all the way in the back so that he can be with Shooky. This should be at the end. I just need to bring something up to the front. What should I use for Mang? I'm thinking I should use this one because it says I'm your hope. Yeah, okay. So this divider will be the first one. It says I'm your hope. This one was really fun to draw because I love Hobie Core so much. So that was fun to draw. happy with the positioning of my tabs oh my goodness that's so cute okay so let me read off my sections to you weekly daily monthly shop social slash marketing home slash finance and self-care and so the first one is going to be monthly I'm not sure if I want the typical just month calendar only I think I need the monthly layout of a calendar plus that dashboard layout where it has the days with just like a few lines. I'm not sure if that's something I need. So I need more time to think about what I want to put in my monthly. The next section is weekly. So I'm going to use these blank dashboard pages for the first few weeks. The great thing about having different layouts and having a disc planner is that you can just switch it out for each week whenever you want. So this is from 2020, but I'm just gonna redate it. So I'll have 
Let's see how many pages of the dashboard layout I had from 2020. Oh, I guess I had all the whole month. And then I also have these vertical hourlies um, from another planner I had in 2020. 2020 just sucked. Everyone knows that. So I just ended up not using it at all. So yeah, so I'll pull out the dashboard ones and then we'll see as we go along. Like maybe the second week of January, I don't want to use a dashboard, but I want to use a weekly lined one. I can just go back in here and pull it out and use that for that week instead. Uh, I'm not going to white out and or cover the dates ahead of time. I'm just going to go a one week at a time. So I'm just putting my papers in there and then when it's that week, we'll see what I want to do. I'll put it in February and I'll do the hourly one just because it's purple. Okay. So I'm going to have two months worth of weeklies in my planner at a time. And I might actually reduce it. We'll see because I'm going to have a lot of pages for dailies. For daily, I'm going to use these inserts that I've had for years now. Um, this one because it actually works well for me. It has an hourly on the side. I'm gonna use that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this to plan out my day or to document what I did that day. Cause it's, I, I might actually just use it to document what I did that day because I work from home and it's, I'm my own boss and I just need to get better at holding myself accountable about my schedule and using my time wisely. So I think in the first few months while I create my office hours, I don't have set office hours and I've been wanting to do that for work-life balance because I just kind of like work from when I wake up to when I sleep, but then I also have a lot of break times in between, but it does, it just feels like I'm working all day. So I just want to have um, set times of just pure focus time. It's kind of, it's hard for... <sighs> for my brain, like anyone that has ADHD or ADD, um, it's just hard. It's hard to stay focused. So you just gotta like know what works for you and what doesn't. So um, before I used to think that I have to set a nine to five work schedule because people work nine to five. And now as I'm starting to learn more about myself, I realize, no, I really don't need to work nine to five. Like the amount of work that I would get done if I sat for eight hours, I can actually do it in probably three hours of full focus time. So if I actually put my phone away and put on a Pomodoro timer, I would actually get eight hours work done in three hours. So that's just how my brain works and I, I just get antsy if I start working for more than four hours. So I'm going to try to set a schedule where I have just like two hours or maybe even out one hour chunks throughout the day, but it totals to four hours of full focus work. We'll see. So I'm going to document what I do each day per hour, per the hour, and then see. And then this side has my top priorities which is another thing, like I want to do like 10 million things in a day. So it's nice to have this section and then my to-do list. And I, I like that it has a grateful for section. And then I'm going to use this side to just write down um, just like all the positive things that happened that day, the things that I accomplished or just like all the happy things. And then also do a quick jot of what happened that day so that I have a daily log of what happened each day that I can use as reference for my scrapbook album. I'm gonna go back to pocket scrapbooking. Uh, I'm just gonna flip through these reference pages and just scrapbook moments from the month that I want. One of the tabs that I want on the top is for today. I'm gonna go through my millions of sticker books that I have. Oh look, I had a whole page of just tabs. I'll use one of these sticker tabs. This is from an old sticker book that I found at Joann's, but these are just plain tab stickers. I can make these and put these in the shop too, like with my own designs. So if you ever want just different colored tab stickers in the shop, please let me know in the comments and I will make that for you. So I'm gonna to write today
and then what was the other one? This week. And I'll use yellow for this week. There. So those are my two top tabs. ones for the mini happy planner don't stick out enough so what I'm gonna do is just make my own little DIY bookmark tab for this week and so I just went through my stash and I found these puffy stickers um, that I bought at Target during Valentine's Day back in the day and I had this plastic little I don't know it's a tag that you would use in scrapbooking. It was not sure if this is going to work or not. We are just winging it and if it does then that's great and if it doesn't we'll have to come up with a different solution for a tab. I messed up and I, I cut this part so I'm not sure if this is fixable but Let's keep going. The next day. So I figured out that I need just blank calendar pages for my social media slash shop marketing section. So I just like DIY'd a very minimalistic just blank calendar. I didn't want to write the days of the week because I don't want to commit to a certain font. And I thought it would be fun to switch it up and decorate the calendar each month so I kept it as minimal as possible so all I did was just create a grid for five weeks um, and hopefully it works I've never made a printable before so this was definitely like just a experiment so I'm gonna cut them down to size uh, and then punch them out and I'll be back also made this as a DIY little printable um, for myself it really I don't know if it'll help anyone else but there are free printables out there I found a whole bunch of them online but I just wanted one that looks very minimalistic so basically I'm gonna start tracking how much I spend on things because I really have a shopping problem <laughs> as you'll see from my haul video I just buy things because they're cute and then and then that's it and then I just leave it at home and I forget that I have it so I need to start tracking it so I just have a section for the date the item slash items where I bought it from N is means if I needed it and W is for if I wanted it like if it's a need versus a want I would it would be nice to see what that turns out to be I'm pretty sure right now like most of my purchases are just wants and not needs so it'd be nice to see like the progression of me getting better at spending um, the amount of money I spent and then what category. I just want to write what category it is to see how much I spend because right now I mean I already know I was gonna say I think but no I know that I spend way too much on food from outside like restaurant food takeout food um, but I really want to see how much I'm actually spending on myself so it would be nice to see how much I'm actually spending on just frivolous stuff. So everything is punched now, so I'm gonna start assembling the rest of my planner. I'm gonna go through each section and start from the beginning because I feel like I missed some things, like putting in some things for each section. I think I'm gonna make a key for what each tab is until I have it memorized. The other four can be in any order, actually. I think I'm going to do cookie for self-care because JK is always telling us that he hopes and wishes that we eat well and stay healthy and he's into health and working out so my friend Michi said that she wants RJ, not RJ, Koya to be my home in finance so ta -ta. Koya, yeah. because she said she can imagine Koya like with his glasses, 
writing stuff down and budgeting. Um, why am I? I can't think at the same time. Shooky. So, Coil will be home finance. So then that leaves social media slash marketing and shop. And Tata should definitely be social media because he has been killing us with his Instagram stories. But see, like, Hobie's really good at social media. Like, super good. But unfortunately, he's in the beginning. And I want monthly to be my first section. Do you see how much thought I'm putting into this for no reason? Is it for no reason? I feel like it's for no reason. And so that leaves shop for Shooky. And that actually makes sense to me because Yungi stayed in America the late, the longest. And he, like, after the concerts, instead of vacationing, he went straight into producing music and then did a collab with Juice World, and like he was just like all about his work. For monthly, I am putting in this monthly layout. So that's my monthly pages. Uh, next was weekly. I fixed the bookmark that I was working on earlier, so I just covered it all with this wonderful washi tape from Shine Sticker Studio covered the whole thing except for the back because no one's gonna see that part. Um, see, and then that's my tab for the week I'm in. So then Chimmy is daily, and this is all I want in this section. These daily pages. Cookie is self care. So self care. I'm just gonna put a couple of pages in there. So, yeah, a section for journaling and self-care. And then I also, excuse me, I'm not sure if I'm going to maintain this habit, but I might as well try to put these in the self-care section. I have a blank, old, undated fitness planner. So I'm just going to stick some in here. I just don't know if I want to log everything I eat. It just se seems so tedious, but maybe it'll help. So that's self-care. Tata, the next one is social media. In my social media section, I'm going to use these undated vertical spreads that I have um, because I want to split the boxes up even further and then use it like you know the color blocking layout that happy planner has i don't have that if i had that i would have just used that but since this whole planner is all about using what you have and not spending any more money i'm using these and then i'll just draw a line across some of the sections and then label it on the side i want to have um, the following labels Instagram feed Instagram stories TikTok slash reels YouTube and then um, what I'm drawing and then a section for create so that means like if I'm scrapbooking or if I'm creating something like a planner setup or something like that that's not drawing I want to have a section and then I'd write out um, or slash plan out what I'm doing for each section that week I just put only like a month's worth, not even, one, two, three weeks for now. And then we'll see if I want to hold on to it or plan out and add more and plan out more or if three weeks is enough for me in this planner. The next one is finance, which is Koya. So for his section, I'm going to put my spending tracker that I created. And I'm actually going to use this spread in two different ways. One is going to be an overall catch-all page where I write all of the transactions that I have. Another one's going to be a list of things that I bought that I just only wanted but I didn't really need instead. So for example, like if I go to Target, I come home with a receipt that's $30. So the catch-all page will just have the date. 
items would just be like a general idea of what I bought. Target, $30, right? But in that $30 haul, there might have been something, like one thing that I needed, like Lysol wipes. But then everything else was just stuff that I bought that I didn't need. And I just like kind of wasted that money. I'm going to write those stuff separately on another sheet. Just to bring awareness of how much I'm actually spending on things that I don't need. I really need to bring that awareness because right now I have no awareness at all. It's a problem. I'll just like put stuff in the cart. They tell me the total. I don't even hear how much the total is. I just insert my cart in and that's it. I'm not going to start budgeting yet because first, the first step is awareness. Okay, and then the last one is shop. I just need a place to write down my ideas for the shop, like product development notes, and then like any collab notes, and deadlines and stuff, just like a place to write all my notes down. So I'm going to put these pages in, and then I'll fill up as we go along. So that is the shop section. And then the last section is extra, so I'm just putting in notebook paper. And this section for me means like anything else that I want to keep in my planner that doesn't go specifically in category. Like for example, if I'm watching a lecture online or a workshop, and I want to just take notes, I'm just going to put it in the extra section. So that's why I have notebook paper. And that's my entire planner setup. I hope you had a lot of fun watching me set this up. I had so much fun making it. It took several days, um, you know, because I didn't do it all in one sitting. But it was so much fun, and I can't wait to start using it. I hope you all have a very, very happy new year, and I hope you love the planner that you are in. Please let me know in the comments down below what planner slash planners, how many <laughs> planners you're using for the new year. Um, I will just be using this one because over the years I learned if I have more than one planner to go into, I don't use them. So this is going to be my only planner for 2022. If you have any questions about anything about this setup, let me know. I can't wait to talk to you down there. I'll see you down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!